Santa's being a naughty boy. Will you help me? <gasps> Who the hell are you? Whoa! Run to my safe space. He's in my safe space. This. Rebecca, come here. Come here now. No. Stop it. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing okay. We are back with the mortuary assistant and um, I can tell you I'm already pretty nervous. This is supposed to be a Christmas special. Um, but because of editing issues, it's more than likely this will go out after Christmas. So I can only apologise about that. Speaking of Christmas, we haven't really decorated, have we? There is not a lot of Christmas cheer in this uh, apartment. Let's hope there's more at the mortuary. It's not something you would usually, usually say, is it that? Hoping that there's more Christmas cheer at a mortuary than there is in, the neuro in your own home. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely more Christmas cheer here than there is at my apartment. Lovely. Apologies if you can hear things in the background, like doors closing, people sneezing. Um, ooh. You know what it's like when family are around. Lovely. Pick that up, because I know we need to use that to um, scribble on, to see how demonic we've become. Ooh, I'm stuck behind a chair. Take that, thank you very much. Anything else in these drawers that we need to be aware of? Not that I can see. Okay. Oh well. So Brian, the developer, his sort of Twitter, I don't know if it's his logo or what, but he's brought in the Moog, which is quite cool. Never noticed that before. So that's quite cool. Okay. Do I leave that on? I'll leave it on for now. Just because happy vibes. Oh. I hate this room. With like a passion. <laughs> I'm already so nervous. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body mm -hmm. and burn. Mm -hmm. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. I'm going to get the code First, for the, uh, the clay tablet in the center. The security the thing. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Sorry, folks, I'm a bit old school. Not pad Second, and paper. The bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside. Force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention oh. to signs that you have chosen off. correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will okay. need to uncover these sigils to use them. See, there's no one there. I knew there'd be no one there. Strip up It's smoldering. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, but it hasn't, has it? furniture, anywhere. Oh! Right, I'm going to have to write them down because I do a lot of running backwards and forwards Once last time. Uncover the sigils, and I just end up getting myself confused. To decide which demon you're dealing with and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. 
Okay. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Thank you very much. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. Okay. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. Okay. Allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Okay. Look carefully. The Night Shift Database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what we'll start name, with Santa Claus, because that seems to be the most the the collection of demonic names sensible thing to do. I need my the ID card is in my personal Okay, anything done Did you hear that? I heard something. Just move that pen out of the way, sorry. Okay, let's start with the Jolly Green Giant. Always takes me ages to turn in this game, and I really don't know why. I don't think it's my most sensitivity or anything like that. Oh, he jiggles. My belly don't jiggle, jiggle. It rolls. There we go. Aren't I supposed to have like a? Oh, there it's clipboard. Yeah. At least I can keep track of things. Yes. God, I'm so nervous already. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. So I hope, so I'm assuming this is probably going to go out after Christmas now. So I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas. Um, yeah, let me know. How did you celebrate it? Did you, did you celebrate it? Um, did you have a big family Christmas? Was it nice and quiet? Or, you know, did you have quite a big Christmas? Now let me know how you celebrated it. I'd be really interested to see. I actually went round to the in-laws for Christmas for the first time this year. Had Christmas dinner there. It was lovely. Um, I was probably more scared of having Christmas at the in-laws than I was we um, playing this game, if I'm being perfectly honest. Because I'm a bit of a messy booger. And um, let's just say I always get scared that I'm going to end up with half my food on um, the dining table. that left shoulder. Okay. And then we just have to wait for the printer that takes an absolute age. Okay. No. I heard that door open. door is open. What do we do with open doors? We close them because it makes me feel safer. I am going to have to turn it off because that's just, it's quite creepy isn't it? I have to admit. Bombing report. So now that's opened I'm really nervous now because this is where things are really going to start happening. Close that door. Okay, no demons running around doing things. Good. It's not what I want. But I'll test that anyway. 
how do I get the uh, space bar for the the clipboard sorry guys I'm really nervous already so I'm forgetting words and things why are the jaw shut why are the jaw shut where would they be ah there we go now I'm sure last time I played this they were over there So I need staples, setting needles, that's what I need. Did I say that Santa's 43? Because if that's so, then he's lying about his age. Cause of death is a lifetime of mince pies, brandy, and all the other things. Okay, eye caps. Now, because everything's changed from when I last played the game, I don't know where they are. I don't know why I moved my head as if that was going to help. Um, eye caps, eye caps, where would you be? Oh, right in front of me. Okay. Let's answer the phone real quick. Hello. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Oh, it's Nan. Rebecca. What the? Ooh. We're getting all creepy again. He looks very peaceful, doesn't he? At least he wasn't mauled to death by one of his reindeer. Now we have to mix the embalming fluid, so let's go and get the polyjuice potion first. Yep. Then... Oh, that's bleach. We don't need that. Uh, we do need this. So yeah, I had a really nice time actually going around the in-laws for Christmas. Um, I'd say it was the first time I've ever done that. And it was lovely, really. Um, I don't know what I was so scared of. I guess everyone gets a bit scared going around the in-laws for Christmas dinner. Um... Oh! Oh no! Santa's gone for a walk! <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. That creeped me out. Just, just let me embalm you, Santa. Otherwise, you will not be on the good list. What else do I need? Methanol. But I can't find the methanol anywhere. Am I just looking in the wrong places? Am I being super thick? Oh, it's underneath. Yes, thank you very much. I already much. have one. I already have one of those. No, you don't. Okay, so go back in the corner because that's where I feel safe. Make an incision in the quarter artery to create a scalpel. Okay, so we need a scalpel. I've seen those. They're over by the window. Oh. There you go. Thank you very much. Now I need 
forceps, which I have seen in here. Tubing. And... Do we need anything else? I don't know. Artery forceps. PVC tubing. Lovely. it. Now it's time to give Santa his beach project. Go in the corner because I just feel safer in the corner. But yeah, no matter what you did or how you celebrated it, I hope you had a lovely Christmas. Santa obviously didn't because he's on my mortuary table. Oh, for Christ's sake. Let's not indulge the sounds because they only freak me out and uh, yeah. Okay, let's take all these out. Stitch you back up. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Empty IV bag. So far, not too bad. Um, I need those things now, don't I? The ones that you stick inside the people. Which I haven't seen. Ah, there we go. It's a bit frustrating that every time you play the game, everything moves around, so you, you know, you just about get used to finding something in one place and then you play it again and it's all moved. There we go. Lovely. Um, what do we do now? Cleaning fluid in the bathroom. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh no. What's going on? Who the hell are you? Whoa! Who are you? Oh my god. Hello? Yeah. Whatever. No. <sighs> God, she's still there. What do you want me to do? I don't understand. What was that spaghetti sound? <laughs> A small photo, front, 1940, 1970, can't even bloody speak. The back, the year of the arrival of the house of the dead. The birth of its creator. The full number shall be six. Okay, I don't know what that means. Sorry, if there's some... <clears throat> Sorry, if there's some cuts, it's just because I'm sneezing or... Things like that. Oh yeah, I need to pick up the cleaning thing, don't I? Cleaner base? Close that. I don't know who that woman was. That made no sense to me. I don't understand the photo. Right, I've played this before and it and demons been like popped up here. 
So every time I walk in this room now, I automatically sort of look up just to see if it's there or not. Come on. Run into the corner. Because it's safe. Okay, so what do we have to do now? Apply. Apply? Apply moisturizer. Now I've seen that. That isn't where I would expect it. There we go. Do 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Now what? Return the body to cold storage. Okie doke. First one down. First one down. I mean, not to be disrespectful to old Saint Nick, but he does look a little bit like it. A turkey, doesn't he? You know, like a Christmas turkey. Oh, yeah, let's get this out, actually. See if there's anything around. Nothing in this room as of yet. What are you? We don't need that. Get Bernard There we go. Why is he smiling? I don't like that he's smiling. That's just weird. Did I leave that cupboard open? I don't think I did. Close the doors because, you know. Oh, here we go. Now we have that little number nine thing. Oh, sorry, just hit the mic. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, in Barmy. No demon up there, lovely. So, Oh! Did I make that up? I think I just saw the demon peek round that thing wearing a Santa hat. I'll have to look at that in the edit because it was quite quick, but I'm pretty sure he had a Santa hat on. That's just creepy, isn't it? I mean... Oh. Okay, let's get this done. Is there nothing on the head? Okay. It's got a mark on the back and on the front. Nothing on the arms, really. Okay, legs, nothing. Need to get like fungal nail infection. Medicine on those. There we go. Okay. I like it when checking them out is relatively uneventful because sometimes they like. What was that? Oh, he didn't... Oh, this is meant to be my safe corner. Right. Right.
right shoulder, right arm, left leg, left arm. Submit. Can't believe those drawers open. This is meant to be my little safe space. You ruining it for me? Okay, let's go. I always feel like something awful is going to happen. Because last time I just randomly walked into this room. I thought I heard a noise then. Last time I, I walked into this room, there was a big dark figure there. And he rushed me. Um, and it scared the hell out of me. As you can see from this clip. Oh no. Okay, let's get this embalming done. Right, why the jaw shut? Now, they're in there. And the needles are there. Lovely. Close your mouth. There we go. He's still sort of smirking at me a little bit. Which is a bit creepy. Eye caps. No, they were here, weren't they? Yep. Oh my god. Where's that laughing coming from? Wait, what was that? I heard creaking. Alright. I mean, this game really does freak me out. I don't know why I play it, because it scares the crap out of me. Apologies, potion. I mean, it says it's meant to like react with the mark. I don't know what that reaction's meant to look like. That's kind of part of the problem I have. Um. No, not you. Yep. No. Mother hide. Rebecca, come here. Come here now. No. No. Rebecca, come here. Come here now. I don't want to. I don't know who you are. Oh, Lord. What is this? Who's that? Mom. Mom? What the hell? You stupid bitch. Hate me all you want. Ooh. He's dead because of you. He was dead because of me? You should be the one here. Oh. Lifeless. Oh. Mom's turned into a lobster. Oh! Jesus. <laughs> this game is weird. Every time something happens, I forget what I was doing. Mixing in balming fluid, that was right. Um, the glue, 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 glue. One. Yep. I mean, I think so. 
if you were working this shift and all this stuff was happening, like, what would you do? You'd call someone, wouldn't you? You'd be like, hey, Raymond, I can't continue in this employment because weird shit keeps happening. to my safe space. It used to be safe before drawers and things were opening up on their own in there. I have to say though, as much as I hate this game because it terrifies me, I really always do enjoy playing it and I think the developer Brian has done an amazing job on this game. Although I do question his sanity. Turn off the pump, which I've done. Remove the bits and bobs. There we go. Um, what do we do now? Empty IV bag. Okie doke. Now I need one of those, yep. Have you played this game yet on your own or? What do you think of it? Have you? There was a really big bang behind me then. I felt it in the floor. Stairs. I'm probably thinking about stuff. There we go. Because I'm playing this game. Oh, Santa's back. Santa's being a naughty boy. You freaky fucker. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not going down there because I don't know where the light is in there. And it's way too dark. Oh! Santa's on the run. Santa is definitely on the naughty list. Santa's gone. Where's he gone? Where is he? God, didn't I pick up a match? How do I strike it? A match box, one left. Then let me use it. How do I use it? Can I use it? Please let me use it. Can I use it now? Safer. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, he's back in there. Good. Oh. 
No. What was I doing? This is the thing with this game. It makes you forget what you're doing. It's a good job to give you a clipboard, that's all I can say. That photo is still there. I still don't understand it. Oh! That's the mortuary. 1970, the year of arrival of the House of Death. The birth of its creator. The full number shall be six. What on earth does that mean? So we know the Mutri opened in 1970 now. Um, I'm actually going to get one of those strips and see if we can find another initial for the demon. Just while it's quiet, like, you know. Flaming <laughs> Okay, let's write that down. Okay, so we should, even if we don't get the fourth initial now, we should have quite a good chance of finding the name of the demon, which is good. Sorry, but no. Uh, mix cleaning fluid in the bathroom. Did I not do that? See, even when nothing happens, oh, it scares the crap out of you. It's just a really spooky game. I hope you appreciate that I actually shit myself for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, hopefully it gives you a bit of a giggle. Um, apply moisturiser to a dead body because... Why not? If anyone works in sort of this sort of field, can you let me know why we were putting moisturiser on the face? All right. Here we go. Hopefully that is just... Yeah, getting closer to the demon. Um, body into cold storage. Let's do this. Okay. Yes, I want to use the gurney. It's amazing I can use this trolley without even using my hands. I just have to walk behind it and it does what I want it to do. There we go. Next one is there, isn't it? So let's pop you there. Pop you back in. This one's quite young, by the look of it. I think this is the first time I've played this uh, game and I haven't had a female on the table. I don't like that the feet sort of jiggly jiggly. Okay, close you because this game scares the crap out of me. So I need the needle in thingy pops and the needles. Thank you. Oh no, we need to check them first, don't we? Getting way ahead of myself. Sorry that I'm not talking a whole lot. Or maybe I'm talking too much, I don't know. There we go. That it? That was quick.
Adam Lynch. He does not look 36. Right on. Submit. Ever since that big black thing jumped at me from over there, I've ever I've always nervous to go back in that room. Close the door. Now we can stay for the mouth shut. See, the state of the mouth shut and the eye caps, that all makes sense to me. Um, it didn't at first, I didn't know that that's what happened. But that all makes sense to me. It's the moisturiser I don't understand. It's got like fish eyes, hasn't right. it? Um, go into the safe corner because I don't know what I need to do next. Mix the embalming fluid. So again, poly juice. There we go. Um, I wish I could remember where everything was. That's sort of a me problem, isn't it? Maldehyde. No. Did I use that one over there? No, don't need you. Uh huh. Lovely stuff. Grab a scalpel. Grab some PVC piping. And then turn him into one of the transformers. Okay. So now switch this up. We retreat to the safety of the corner because, you know, stuff happens in this game. I don't like that it's thundery. I don't like the thunder in this game. In fairness, there's a lot of things I don't like in this game because everything in this game is designed to scare the crap out of me. Okay. Let's take these out and clean you up. Lovely. Um. What's next? Empty IV bag. See, I'm getting there slowly. I sort of know what I need to do. Fill an empty IV. Yeah, this thing here, isn't it? Cavity fluid. And that thing. I have to say, the nipples in this game are very well done. I know that's really random, but there's a lot of detail in this game. Like, even the the fat and the gloop underneath the the skin. There we go. There we go. Mix cleaning fluid. What's Santa doing out? Didn't I put him in? I thought I put you away. In fact, I'm certain I did. Santa the best not be going for walks and things. I've already died, Judy. You are? Is 
Say again. Santa's having a bit of a rave, isn't he? Did I open that door? I hope I did. Why was that a jump? Something horrible is going to happen to me, isn't it? Because that was a jar. Why is it going deathly quiet? What the hell? Do I want to go that way? Oh, I guess I bloody have to. Okay. This is weird. What the? Oh! Oh! I think my game's broken. <laughs> I think my game has glitched out or something. Right, we'll exit it and uh, we'll see if we can continue from where we left off somewhere because uh, I don't think I was supposed to be there. <laughs> i do everything I did last time because, yeah, there we go. It's back to where we were last time. And we want to experience this, don't we, folks? Here we go. Oh! Oh! I mean, I wouldn't go through a door that I've just seen a demon crawl through. Get tubing by bed. Tubing by bed. Well, it depends what you classify as bed. There we go. Get needle from bathroom. Needle from the bathroom. Oh, is this part of her past? Find lighter. Get spoon from coffee table. Find full baggy on kitchen's counter okay looks like we're going to take a we're taking a trip down memory lane oh god isn't that just creepy oh oh no Oof. That didn't scare me, that just really creeped me out. <laughs> Gave me shit like all. What's that spaghetti sound? Did you hear it? I keep hearing like the sound of spaghetti every now and again. Oh! just my phone going off scared the crap out of me <laughs> tank cleaner yep run away well at least the game worked this time round
What was that? What scared me? Just a reminder. Um, apply moisturizer. Looks a little bit like Keanu Reeves, doesn't it? All right. Return the body to cold storage. Santa's out again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check their bodies because on that um, system, the database that Dr. Phil made, um, it says that as demonic possession continues, the body sort of develops more signs of possession. Um, actually, what I should do is walk around with that strip of paper and see if oh oh okay so where did that go oh what the hell's you bloody hell Aha! The three. So, it looks like we have his initials then. All we need to do is find out the the right um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the right order, so that we can piece together the name. Okay, let's do this. Identifying demonic tendency. Is this what I'm looking for? Okay, so that's what we need to sort of look out for. Although it does say that the demon can sort of um, do that on another body. Names. Let's have a look at names. Let's have a look at this. So we are looking for. It's not one of those. It's not that one. I don't think it's that one. Does that three have a a dot in it? It does. Oh, bugger off. I didn't think he'd listen to me. <laughs> He's in my safe space. Oh. No, thank you. do one okay let's focus on the name so no I don't want to go back I want to go back that way just in case there's another one that's quite similar 
No, so it's what was it? As Asriel. So it's the squiggly number three. Then it's the weird number nine. Then it's that um sort of that squiggle thing. Then it's that. So it's a Zell. So why don't we put that name on the mark? Let's not get distracted by that sound. just need to figure out now which body it is. And thing is though I'm getting really close to possession now. Stop it. <laughs> oh god! Did you see that? I didn't know I was in a bloody water park. I mean, it's going to try and stop me now, isn't it, from working out which of these it is. So, we'll try Santa first. Just because he's the one that's been sort of... I guess most active in you know I mean he's had a few walk spouts hasn't he you know so we'll double check him and see if he's got any marks on him I have to try and do this quickly because I have a feeling um, yeah Santa's got the mark so I am going to take the mark Put it on. I don't think I am though. Right, let's do this. I'm ever so sorry, Santa, but you have the mark on you. You've been walking around. All the signs, really, to me, are pointing. Are you sure, this is the <laughs> Yes, I'm sure. I'm very, very positive that it's you, Santa. You've been been walking around, you've been having a good time at my expense really let's do it let's cross. I have, I've done this a couple of times now and every single time I've been wrong so this time Is someone tapping come on I'm not going to go by this because I've done, had this before and I was still wrong. Um, bye, demon. Have I done it? Please tell me I've done it for once. Yeah. There you are. Oh, Good. where am I? Is it over? It's never over. But you survived. I survived. What do you mean? Can I leave? I want to go home. Have a one. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. Okay. Sorry, but it doesn't end here. Why? From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again. No matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. I mean, what do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can.
to keep these entities at bay. It's the only so there you have it folks, that was my Christmas playthrough of the Mortuary Assistant. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching me play it. I've f always enjoyed playing this game, even though it scares the hell out of me. I will show you in a moment a clip um, that from a video that I couldn't use because the audio was all out of sync and things, but I'll show you a clip of one of the engines that I had. I've tried to play this game a few times now, and I've never managed to banish a demon without something funky happening. So check that out. I hope you've enjoyed watching me play this game. If you have, let me know. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button um, for more videos in the future. If not, that's absolutely fine. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year, and I will see you soon. Right. Am I gonna win? Am I gonna win? Turn, come on. Bloody burn. They're laughing. Who's knocking? Please say I've won. Please say I've got it right. Nothing else makes sense. He was smiling weird for a dead person, which is really weird. the demon it's nice not to be the one down there for a change <laughs> oh look who it is uh, I suppose a first name basis is in order D did I make it is it over for now for, for it's now never really over you've come a long way it's a lot to learn I'm so glad I'm here I know it's disorienting you'll get used to it you should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you? Oh no, you chose the wrong demon. What? Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Worth it, son. Watch your foolish. No, I won't. And drink it as nuts from the pit of a brain. What the shit? Oh my lord. <laughs> well, we scrunched him up like a piece of paper, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I got it right. Very great, right? The signs were on his body. He was smiling. He moved around a lot for a dead person. Damn. 